man, I'm not even playing. This is not planned. I was thinking, I was talking to the Father. And I'm like, because I was actually reading um, over my description that I placed on um, the video is already within us. Um, and um, as I was reading it, it basically, it fired me up because I know what's to come. I know what's to come. I have a video that I am about to create, okay? Um, and as I stated on my last video that I just now recently uploaded to, just a minute ago, is entitled, My Plans and Goals Took a Turn as I Followed the Leading of the Spirit of Truth, okay? Um, really, I should have uploaded that one first. And then the it's already within us. But oh well, I'll just make a playlist and put that one first. And yeah, I'll do it that way. Um, because yeah, people need to really watch that one first. And then it's already within us. Because, and then, oh my gosh, bro. It's this, I have this video coming. I got to create the video, all right? Um, and it's going to be a little long. Um, it's going to be an hour and eight minutes, 50 seconds. But anyway, this video is going to be very important, okay? Yeah, now you can have ignored all my other videos that you wanted to ignore. And you can ignore this one too, but I highly advise that you don't. I highly advise that you give ear to this next video. Especially you Gentiles. Now, it may be a little intimidating, the title. You know, the title alone, if I put myself in your shoes, you know, I can see how the title would be a little bit intimidating. But you need to watch this video. It's very important. Because just because you want to hide from the truth it's, it's not going to make the truth null and void it's not going to make it go away okay just because you want to cover your eyes and pretend like it's not there it's pretty much in your face and you're not going to be able to ignore it for much longer. See, what you're doing is to your own detriment. Because you're going to end up ignoring it until it's too late. You're going to end up ignoring it until you can't. And when you can't, it's too late. So, I am here for a reason. I love you, okay? I don't hate you, Gentiles. I understand that you were taught the things that you were taught, okay? Even you racist Gentiles out there, even those of you that think that you're better than me because of your skin color, and you look down upon me, and you see me as a nigger, okay? I don't hate you, you know? I have no animosity towards you. Because I understand that you're doing it out of ignorance. And this ignorance was taught to you. And I also understand that Lucifer used a particular nation of people. He used the Gentiles. Okay? He used you guys. As his tool. Alright? It's actually the tool of the eternal laws. But you know, the Father, as I stated in previous videos, he is all good. Okay? The Father is all good. And he desires for all of us to be happy. But Lucifer... He also desires for all of us to be happy. 
But he's not as intelligent as the father. Because the father understands that not everyone can be happy when you choose to be served yourself for eternity. Okay? Those spirits that choose to serve themselves for eternity, those spirits the father already knew that they were going to be vessels of dishonor in their mortality. Okay? This does not mean that he created good and evil. He created everything, but he gave us a choice. And the eternal law that's in effect of sowing and reaping, reaping the things that you have sown, this is what people see as good and evil. Okay? So, when you have bad things done unto you, wouldn't you say that's evil? Wouldn't you say that's evil if you have something bad done unto you? Now, <clears throat> Satan, Lucifer, argued that everyone, all spirits, should have the powers of the celestial kingdom. Okay? This is the powers of the all power. You know, to be able to create and, you know, have, like, to be able to utilize the power of the Father dealing with nature um, and elements and di different things like that, you know, on, on the celestial glory level. Now, I know that this is kind of high over your over a lot of people's heads, but I'm breaking it down in simplicity because this is real. You got to understand the, the good and evil is what you choose to do. OK, we all have free will. You need to come to that understanding. You have free agency. All of us, all of the all power has given us free agency to a point. Okay. And the only point is the eternal law that he set in motion of sowing and reaping cause and effect, reaping the things that you have sown so that the father can show you what is like when you do things to others, okay? How would you ever learn your lesson? How would you ever learn what is like to be miserable? In mortality, you know, when your whole life, you've been living in the blessing, you know, that's all you know. That's all you know, and you're oblivious to the misery that has happened to those that have been downtrodden so that you can live in your blessing. You have no idea of our struggle. You want to tell us to pull ourselves up by our bootstraps. You want to tell us to get a job. Get a job. One day the American dream will come if you work hard enough. So slave. Slave. All of your life. 40, 50, 60 years of your life. Give all your time, energy, and effort to the beast. And then you will be rewarded in your old age with a security. Your social security. You will have all these benefits. But you're old now. And you dedicated your whole life to Satan. But you say that you love the Creator. You say that you love the Father. You say that you love the Messiah who came here to give us the law of the Creator and to teach us how to live a righteous life and how to love one another. You follow Satan. You follow this beast system. 
Well, your love for other people has waxed cold. We all can look around in the world that we're living in today and see that the love of many have waxed cold. This is not a planned audio. Man, it's 1-11. Wow, I just look at the clock and it's 1-11. Let me go ahead and notate that because I didn't plan it. I didn't plan to look at the clock at 1-11. It just called to me, I guess. It's 1-11 p.m. And this audio was not planned. I just got done uploading my plans, <clears throat> my plans and goals took a turn as I followed the leading of the spirit of truth. Okay? Um, you go ahead and create this playlist right quick. I need to put both of these in a playlist. Let's see, this one first. Save to playlist. <clears throat> Let's see what we call this. Create a new playlist. All right, that playlist is created. All right. Um, as I stated, man, this audio was not planned, okay? Uh, I have that video coming the Gentiles have ignored true prophecy and it behooves you to give ear to that video that's going to be coming okay um, I highly 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 uh, listen to that because it's, it's prophecy you're going to want to know this okay you're going to want to know it because you're living in it okay Stop being like Cypher, all right? Of the Matrix, most of you know what I'm talking about. You younger, you may not know. But man, unplug from the Matrix. Understand that you live in an illusion, okay? In an illusion of Satan because he was able to create this world, this illusion, and block your mind from the Father. And I am here to lead you to the Father because I can see. And you're following after people that are blind, okay? If you continue to follow after people that are blind and you're blinded, you cannot see, that is going to lead you to destruction. You are a part of the beast. Do you not understand when you're working these jobs for Satan and you're slaving all of your life, you're giving all of your time, energy, and effort to the beast in order to earn income for money so that you can survive, you are choosing the beast, okay? You're choosing to put your trust and faith in the beast. But I, as hard as it is, have chosen to say, screw the beast, 
and all of its tentacles as far as their economic system. Bro, I'm not going to attach myself to this beast system any more than I already am, such as being in HUD housing, such as being in this captivity, period. The Father is going to take care of me. He has led me to these sealed books for a reason. And in these sealed books, it confirms every single thing that is within me and the things that I have just said to you. Okay? How this economic beast system was set up by Satan to enslave you. Okay? To steal all of your time, energy, and effort. Okay? That's been in me my whole life, and I had never read it in this sealed book until recently. Okay? And that's... Wow! That, that's mind-blowing. Okay? I am in love with the Creator. I am in love with the Father. I am in love with the Spirit of Truth. I am in love with my big, older, wiser brother, Yahusha HaMashiach. I am a little Yahusha HaMashiach upon this earth. I am a vessel of light. And because he has tapped me and made me aware that what was within me was right all along, and to not fight it, to go ahead and give my all to him and watch what he does through my life. I can't see it all. I can't see it all. And I'm suffering right now as I record this. I'm suffering, lacking in a lot of things. That cost money. I am tired of this oppression that have been set up upon the promised land that is America, the Americas. It's the promised land. It is the land of bountiful. I know you want to think that is Africa, but you've been taught that by your enemy. And anything taught to you by your enemy should be scrutinized and questioned and then ultimately thrown out. Because we know our enemies are known as liars unto us. They have not known truth. They will come from the ends of the earth and declare, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, things wherein there is no profit. They inherited all these vain things. Vanity. Bro, I'm tired. I'm really, really tired. But the father said, endure, endure until the end, my child. And that's what I'm doing. But it is not fun all the time, okay? This is not no picnic. Because my spirit is ruling me. And my flesh is suffering. Okay? Now, I want it this way. It has to be this way. Because I choose the Father over Satan. And Satan is the one that set up this economic beast system upon this earth. So I have to trust in the Father. <clears throat> to get me out of it. I, you know, I, I can't do it in a, of myself. You know, it's the Father 
that's going to overturn it. But since I'm aware of it now, I can make a choice. See, before, I was aware subconsciously. You know, I didn't really understand why I felt the way that I felt. But now that the Father has taught me that um, the things what I felt, you know, he explained what I felt. And it broke it down in such simplicity in a sealed portion. And it resonated with my spirit. And now it has fed my spirit. And my spirit has begun to grow. And I have to fight my flesh and my urges to, you know, get money at all costs. But I ain't. One of them, I'm set apart for the kingdom of the Father. The Messiah said, he that loses his life shall find it. And he that saves his life shall lose it. So though it seems like I don't have a life right now. Not the life that I want. You know. Like I, I. Like I. Lost my life. That I want. You know. As I chose to follow the path. That the father. Is leading me. No matter what. I have his peace even in my suffering. So I ain't gonna keep this long. I just really had that on my spirit, you know. This next video is going to be explosive because we go into the sealed portion and we read about the United States of America and the great white European nation and how it is the beast. You know, how the beast is money and... Um, how America is the military power of this beast, you know. And then she has uh, raised her head and say, I sit a queen. And that she's no widow and she will see no sorrow. A lot of you patriot, you so patriotic. All you Gentiles, you self-righteous Gentiles, you feel so entitled to this land that you got by shedding much blood. And though you may not have shed it yourself, your ancestors did. You know, your forefathers, those that came before you. You inherited these things just like I inherited the curses of my forefathers. You inherited the blessings. You inherited all the things that they were able to get by downtrodding the Father's people. And because I come from the lineage of the ancient Israelites who were stiff neck wanting to do their own thing and I hearken to the voice of the Father well I had to go through the fire you know all the curses that was placed upon Israel your so called Negroes We've been going through it, and I've been going through it my whole life. 
And um, I'm tired. I'm tired of this oppression. I'm tired of suffering. I'm tired of all the affliction of this satanic beast system that I can clearly see. But so many people around me are blinded to it and have decided to attach themselves to it. And they look down upon me because I won't attach myself to it. People are greedy. People are selfish. <clears throat> um, people want to hoard. As I stated, the love of many have waxed cold. People can listen to my videos, talk about my suffering. See the fact that I put my cash app out by the leading of the spirit. And many will still refuse to give of their abundance. Even though they feel it on them to sow out of their abundance unto those that are lacking. Some of them are going to harden their hearts. And then what little knowledge they had. It's going to be taken from them. You want to know why? Because they chose to disobey the spirit. They chose to ignore the spirit. See, the Messiah said, let me go ahead and get it. Let me see if I can find it. Because I don't know if this is in the Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Um, I know it's in the sealed portion. They want to hide this because it's something like even if you do all these things, if you do not give of your abundance unto your neighbor, let me see if I can find it because I want to read it exactly. And he just put it in my spirit, so hopefully, he'll allow me to find it. trying not to keep this video long but not because he put this in my spirit because I was flowing um, by way of the spirit I know it's in there because I read it okay I read it now let me see might be able to easier find it in the sealed portion <clears throat> I think I might have found the uh, area, but I got to read. Hold on.
This is really good. I'm going to need to bring this forth one day, but I want to look for one particular passage where it's just breaking down that one part. Man, I really dislike when I cannot find <clears throat> a passage that's in my spirit. Um, See, I know basically what it says. It says, if you do not give out of your abundance unto your neighbor that is lacking, you have broken the commandment of love. Okay? How can you love somebody as you do yourself and you know that you have abundance to be able to help your neighbor, but yet you hard that which you have out of your abundance would that would help your neighbor if you hoard it to yourself and you do not if you do not give of your substance that you have in abundance you are not showing love okay now whether i can find this passage or not that's what it says Okay, no, I think this might be it. Mm, let's do it on this chapter. And um, another thing he's quickening in my spirit to say is that this is not referring to those that are struggling, okay? Those that are struggling to make ends meet, you're not the ones that were that that I'm t that I'm talking about, okay? Through the leading of the spirit, all right? The spirit is leading me to talk to the ones that have abundance those that are sitting pretty okay they don't have to worry about how they're going to sustain their lives or the lives of their children or their children's children okay i'm talking about the ones that you know they're sitting pretty, okay, because many of them are Gentiles. I'm not going to say all of them are Gentiles because the Father may use, you know, other nations as well, um, including my own nation. You know, there may be some of those that are very rare, but they're, they, hell, who am I to say who he can and can't use, okay? But primarily, it's for the Gentiles that he have set apart as his portion, the ones that are called by his name, the ones that are called by his name, and he has allowed you to have abundance of this world, it is to sow unto those that he has chosen for you to sow unto, okay? Now, like I said, whether I can find this passage or not, uh, that's what it says, that you are to sow out of your abundance unto those that are in need, okay? Hold on. Uh, 
Here we go. I found it. Thank you, Father. Okay, I found it. All right, this is actually a sealed portion, chapter 12, okay? And this is going to be verse 94, and because these verses are so freaking long, uh, I guess I'll read the whole verse. And Amulek, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let me actually start up here. Father, once we start just uh, on 93. All right. And Alma taught the people that it was necessary that they repent of their sins and come unto the Most High and believe on his word. And if they believe on his word. Now, first of all, let me let me say that as it's saying, believe on his word. They don't mean the Bible. OK, they don't mean on the Bible. All right, because the Bible in and of itself is not his word, though his word can be found in the pages of that book. It is not his word. OK, his word is within us. His his word is within all of his living, breathing creation. His word is in his creation, period. OK, believe on his word. His word is within you. All right. It's written on your spirit. OK. Let me go ahead and start from the top again, 93. And Alma taught the people that it was necessary that they repent of their sins and come unto the Most High and believe on his word. And if they believe on his word and repent of their sins, then they shall find mercy. And he that finds mercy and endureth to the end the same shall be saved in the kingdom of the Most High. So you Gentiles that want to be spared the destruction that's coming your way full speed ahead, okay? If they repent of their sins, if they repent of their sins, come unto the Most High, believe on His word, and if they believe on his word and repent of their sins, they will find mercy. Even though many of your ancestors, many of your forefathers did not show mercy. Let me go ahead and put up a few images here that popped up in my head. Go ahead and see some images there from Dogs of a Conquest. Showing you some images of the things that they did. Now ignore the pale skin of the, of the people that are being burned alive. And all of these atrocious things that's happening to them. Ignore, ignore the freaking skin tone because they made everybody white, okay? They made everybody European as if so-called black people didn't exist back then. Although we were the people that it was happening to. Okay, your forefathers didn't show mercy to us as they let their dogs loose on us and our babies. They didn't show mercy to us as they grabbed our children and slammed them against stone walls. They didn't, and them rocks, no, they didn't show mercy unto us as they took our babies and fed them to alligators, used them as alligator bait. Okay, they show no mercy unto us. But those of you that have the ears to hear, the heart to receive, and now the eyes to see that the Father will give to you if you repent and believe on his word. Turn from your wicked ways. Believe on his word. Repent. Okay? You will find mercy. You will find mercy. And then when you endure till the end, you shall be saved in the kingdom of the Most High. Verse 94. And Amalek also spake unto them, commanding them to exercise faith and repent of their sins and call upon the Most High for mercy. Call upon the Most High for mercy. Exercise your faith and repent of your sins and call upon the Most High for mercy. And after he had preached these things unto the people, he said unto them, And now behold, my beloved brethren, I say unto you, Do not suppose 
that this is all. For after ye have done all these things, if ye turn away the needy and the naked and visit not the sick and afflicted and impart of your substance, if ye have, to those who stand in need, I say unto you, if you do not any of these things, behold, your prayer is in vain, and availeth you nothing, and ye are as hypocrites who do deny the faith. And now I, Moroni, know you've read these things, but have ye obeyed the commandment of Yahushua in which he has commanded you, saying, Behold, I have caused to be written many of the words of my holy prophets, and also others have I commanded to keep an account of my works among the children of men. And these are my holy scriptures, which I have suffered to be written, that they might profit the children of men and be a blessing blessing unto them, and I would that ye shall liken all scripture unto yourselves, for behold, that which is past, that which is past has been that which is present, and that which is present shall be that which shall come to pass. Verily I say unto you before the throne of the Most High, there is no history of his works, for his works are eternal and are encompassed into one eternal realm from which he observeth all the works of his hands and receiveth the joy therein. Therefore the actions of those who have lived before shall imitate the actions of those who shall live in the present and also those that shall live in the future for unto all of the children of men are the same commandments given and these commandments are the words that I have given unto you And it shall come to pass in one generation, even the sins of that generation, so shall it come to pass in the next generation, because the same spirit that exists among the children of men, yeah, even that spirit that causes them to sin, shall exist among them in the next generation, even until the time of the end of the earth. And for this reason, I have called my holy prophets and have committed commanded them to write the things that they are taught by the Holy Spirit. For from the Holy Spirit, who is one with my spirit, shall the things of my spirit or my words be given unto the children of men. And now I, Moroni, have testified unto you that the Holy Spirit has been my constant companion all the days of my life. And I have written the things upon these plates that he hath commanded me to write. And I shall write the rest of the words that I shall be commanded by this same spirit, which is also the spirit of the Hamashiach, as he hath explained it unto you. And I write these things unto you of the latter days, even unto all those who shall receive my words, which shall be sealed up and not given unto the world at the time of my other words, even those of my words, which were included in the record that my father Mormon commanded me to hide up in the earth, that they may come forth unto you and be a blessing unto you, and so that they might profit you according to the word of Yahusha, and many of these things I was desirous to include with the words of my father, but I was forbidden by Yahusha and commanded that I should not write these things unto you. But now I have received a commandment to write these words unto you and seal them up that they may come forth in the own due time of Yahusha. And I know that they shall come unto you in the latter days. When 
when that which I have spoken of shall come to pass, even the sins that ye do which are like unto those of the Zoramites. And I say unto you, Repent and take hold of the rod of iron that shall lead you to eternal life. Yeah, even the words of the Hamashiach, which are also written herein. Do not think that your ordinances shall save you in the day that Yahusha shall come and demand from you an accounting of your works, even according to the things that he has suffered to be revealed unto you. For the fullness of his gospel is contained in the record that ye have received, even this record which ye now read. And there is nowhere to be found in the record of my father or in this record that I write pertaining to the vision of the brother of Jared or anywhere in the holy scriptures that commandeth a man or a woman to receive the holy endowment as a means by which they may be saved. And if these records contain a fullness of the gospel, and ye cannot find any reference to the saving power of this ordinance in this record, then what does it profit you to believe that this ordinance can save you? All of your confession and your beliefs ain't nothing. It is null and void when you ignore his commandment of love. To love thy neighbor as you do yourself. Okay? You are not loving your neighbor as you do yourself when you watch your neighbor starve to death, when you watch your neighbor suffer of the things that they need and some of their wants that they may want. When you have abundance. Bro, treating your neighbor as you do yourself is a commandment, okay? You cannot be selfish with your abundance, okay? You're storing up treasure upon this earth that will canker, okay? It is not going to profit you anything but death and destruction. What you should do with your abundance is so unto those that are in need. And this will help you have mercy in these days and age, man, because we're in the last days. As I clearly just read unto you, I just read to you out of the sealed book, okay? This book was sealed until the time of the end, until the latter days. And I know, verse 103, okay? And I know that they shall come unto you in the latter days, when that which I have spoken of shall come to pass, even the sins that you do which are like unto those of the Zoramites. So repent and take hold of the rod of iron that shall lead you to eternal life. Yeah, even the words of the Hamashiach, which are also written herein. Okay, now this is way longer than I had ever planned for it to be. So, I'm going to leave it at that. Watch the next video. Shalom.